girl on the track, she sound better than you Someone dissed me, I don't know, I'm like who? Said I cashed out from that last song, it's true And yeah, I just spent your whole rent on some shoes I Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame No one might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true What's going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. And for this video, I'm going to show you guys the fastest ways that you can get every single last one of these Summer Courts bosses. So as you guys know, yesterday, they came out with this new Dr. J. He finally unlocked. If you haven't seen my gameplay, go check it out. Did, did It did do pretty well, even though I wasn't the first, but it did do pretty well. <clears throat> so you need all four of these Summer Courts bosses to... um complete this 99 overall dr j and he is definitely worth it so don't slack on getting him because he boosted my small ball to a 101 so definitely get him so i'm gonna go in order of when each boss came out and i'm gonna show you guys the fastest ways to complete each and every last one of these bosses so as always drop that like and subscribe if you are new now the first boss that came out was this uh bernard king he is the easiest one to get the hardest part about each and every last one of these bosses is getting these four elite players because all because um for those all you need is coins and a lot of you guys out there don't buy coins so um four of these is going to cost you around probably um 2.5 million 2.4 million um the prices for those elites have rose because of this set right here um you need five of the 91 pluses and five of the regular elites and um i did end up completing this guy this morning um i didn't do gameplay because i didn't expect him to come out and um when i woke up i like i had to work today in the morning so um i slept in i slept in and then i didn't expect the new 99 to come out but if you guys do want to see some gameplay definitely let me know in the comment section i could probably get it out probably tomorrow but he was an upgrade for my center spot. I had the 98 Joel Embiid. And um, I have him posted up on Auction House right now for 6 mil. So definitely um, an upgrade. And I will be making a good chunk of coins from it. So Bernard King, the main thing you need from this is the summer cred. And to get that cred easily, just keep doing a summer breeze. And they, they took off the cooldown. And... Um, to do this set, actually, they made it to where you can um, spend 40 cash to do it, but I do not recommend doing that. All you gotta do is just keep grinding live events and get these summertime collectibles, and then that gives you um, the cred. You don't, you're not guaranteed a summer cred collectible out of this pack every time, but um, you get it most of the times, and then you throw the summer cred collectibles into this set here. And then in this set, you get 5,000 cred. In order to complete that 97 Bernard King, you need 50,000 summer cred. So you only have to do this set 10 times. And they made it to where you can spend 75 cash for 5,000 cred. So very easy to do. Um, you, can easily, you can easily get it for free. Just play the live events. Okay, so the second boss that came out was this 97 overall Jason Williams. Now, this guy required a, a thousand of these collectibles for the final set. Um, 500 for this one, 200 for this one, and like 30 for this one, 10 for this one. So, this guy was um, a, a lot harder to complete. But once they came out with these sets right here, where you can get 40 of these collectibles every three hours, it became extremely easy. So... For this Jason Williams, you also want to grind the live events. Now, the live events give you Chicago collectibles also. You want to do this Summer Courts Pro event. And any of the Flash events that come up, do the Flash events. Because they give you three Chicago collectibles and three Summer Courts collectibles. So, easy, easy, easy. Just keep grinding that out. Currently, there's 59 days left of the promo, so you have 59 days to get this um, Bernard King. I mean, not Bernard King, but um, Dr. J. So, very doable, very doable. Um, like I said, the hardest thing should be getting the players because you will need coins. 
So yeah, keep on grinding for this Jason Williams. Basically, the easiest way to get him is to stay on top of this set every three hours and just to keep doing the live event. Use all your stamina on the live events because you can kill two birds with one stone. You'll get the summertime collectibles and you'll also get the Chicago collectibles. So keep doing the sets. Now the third boss that came out is by far the hardest one. You need like, in total you need around like 4,000 collectibles for this. Um, I recently did him like three days ago. This uh, 97 overall Sean Kemp. Now you need 2,500 Seattle collectibles. And you only need two of the 91 plus Venice Beach elites. But um, well not Venice Beach, it's Seattle elites. You only need two of them. So that's gonna cost you around a million coins. And then the level five boss, you do need one. So that's gonna be 1.5 mil total. And then for the level four boss, you need five of these regular summer elites. So you could probably snipe these for around 50K each. So that's 250K. Um, so um, 1.7 mil is probably gonna take you to cost this uh, Sean Kemp to complete it. So the Bernard King, 2.5 mil. The Jason Williams, 2.5 mil. So that's five mil. The Sean Kemp, 1.7 mil. So 6.7 million total coins you're going to need to complete those three. Now, the way I tackled this Sean Kemp, um, I did the same thing I did with the Jason Williams. Every three hours, make sure you're on top of this set. I didn't spend any money grinding for that Sean Kemp. So make sure you keep doing this set right here. You get 40 collectibles each hour. But also, they made it to where you can get these collectibles from playing head to head. Now my head to head fans went up a lot from doing this. So you're also uh, killing two birds with one stone. I'm at 12 million head to head fans. Okay, so if you go under the objectives tab, it gives you another chance to get some more collectibles every three hours. So um, this also has like a three hour cooldown, but it's not really a cooldown. Basically you have three hours to do these and then every three hours it resets so then you can do it again. So it's kind of like a cooldown. Um, if you score 10 points, um, you get five collectibles. Once you get up to 50 points, you get 10 more collectibles. And then once you get up to 100, collect 100 points, you get 10 more collectibles. So also, you'll get an additional 25 collectibles every three hours. So in total, you'll be getting yourselves three, not three, what the heck. You'll be getting yourself 65 collectibles every three hours from doing that sean kemp set so definitely stay on top of that but also um you're going to need to pay for the elite player every three hours each elite player you can snipe for 50k so when you're completing the jason williams and the sean kemp you're going to be spending 100k every three hours getting these elites so um yeah, depending on how many times you do this set per day um, will uh, determine the amount of coins you spend on the elites. So I'm not going to, that definitely plays a part in how many coins it's going to take you to actually complete every single one of these bosses. So yeah, that's how um, you need to come at tackling the Sean Kemp. Just stay on top of the head to head and stay on top of the sets every three hours and then eventually you will get him. So, and you're also going to need coins. If you don't buy coins or none of that, basically you can grind the, the head to head, you could grind the set. And then any times you're not grinding for that, you can be sniping to make yourself some coins. Then you'll be able to do some of these sets because like I said, um, after factoring those three bosses in so far, you'll be at around seven mil, seven mil to do those three bosses. Now let's hop over to the final boss that just came in. So there, they came out with this Vince Carter. Vince Carter, if you have coins, is also one of the easier ones, but a lot of people don't have millions of coins. So let's take a look at this set here. So for the first set, you're going to need two of these golds. You can snipe these for 5k. So the first set's going to cost you 10 coins, 10 coins. 
It's gonna cost you 10,000 coins. Now for the 88, you need five of them. So that's gonna cost you 25K. So that's 35K total. Now for the 91, you are gonna need five of the elite and five of the golds. So five of the golds is gonna be another 25K. So that's gonna be 60K plus another 250K for the elites. So um, completing the 91 Vince Carter is gonna cost you 310,000 coins. Now, I was just doing a 91. So that's 310K so far. The level five, the 94, is just gonna get worse. You're gonna need two, I mean not two, you're gonna need five of the 91 pluses. So that's gonna be 2.5 mil right there. So 2.5 mil plus 310K will be 2,810,000 coins. So that's to complete the 94. So we're at what, 2.8 mil right now. And then for the final one, you're going to need 10 of the 91 pluses and you're going to need five of the um, regular summer court elites. And I'm th I think the Venice Beach elites actually go for more. So those probably you'll probably get for like 700K. So it's going to be 3.5 mil instead of 2.5 mil for the elites for the last one for the 94 if you get five of them. So before we complete the 97 overall one, so far this uh, Vince Carter is going to cost you around 3.8 mil. Now for the 97, you need 10 Venice Beach elites and five summer court elites. So the Venice Beach ones are going to cost you around what? 7 mil total because they're, they're 700k each. So it's going to cost you 7 mil total to do that one. And then for the Summer Court Elites, that's another 250k. So in total, it's going to cost you around 11 mil to complete the 97 overall Vince Carter. So that's just for the Vince Carter. And then we were already at around 7 mil for all the other three. So in total, it'll cost you days, weeks, maybe even a month of grinding and it's going to cost you around 18 mil to complete the 99 overall Dr. J. But is he worth 19 million? Yes, I believe he is. He is worth the time and the effort that I put into the card. So that's basically all of the ways that um, you can get these bosses faster. The best ways that you should come about tackling these bosses, you will need a lot of coins, unfortunately. But this Dr. J is completely worth it. Um, to be honest, to be 100% honest, it's going to take so much grinding, so much sniping to even make the amount of coins that's going to take you to be able to complete this Dr. J. 18 mil. That's, that'll take you a few months to grind for. Um, if you're smart though, you could probably make a million coins in one day for real. But um, I don't know. It'll take you a few weeks, maybe even a month to grind for 18 mil. Um, if you really know what you're doing, if you find a really great filter, it'll probably take you like a month to get 18 mil just from grinding. But it'll probably take you a few weeks probably if you don't spend any of your coins. So grinding on the other hand for these collectibles will take you about a month or two, man. Like real talk, like a month and a half. So um, like it, like that's without spending cash. If you buy NBA cash, then you'll have these masters a lot sooner, but I do not recommend buying any NBA cash for it. But yeah, that's the best ways that you can um, get all them bosses faster. If it helped any of you guys out, I tried to go I tried to go through like how much it would actually like take for you to complete this Dr. J. Um, to be honest, again, if you don't really want to like go on that serious grind, don't even grind for this Dr. J. There are alternatives. I'm going to show you a few alternatives to this Dr. J. Um, the Dr. J is the best card in the game, though. He has a whole bunch of boosts, but there are some alternatives to him. 
Carmelo's a pretty good choice here only 1.9 mil but Dr. J stats gets him in every category now I'm just going to search up that Wiggins real quick and then I'm in the video so this Wiggins is 2.5 mil right now but he also gives a boost um, plus two shooting so definitely go for the Carmelo um, you can also get that Wiggins if you want but yeah, those are a few alternatives to the Dr. J. There is 99 KD, but he's probably like 25 million right now. So if you guys don't want to grind for this Dr. J, go ahead and pick up one of the alternatives. They are still good. Your lineup will still be looking nice regardless. But if you're up for the task, if you're up for the grind, go ahead and start grinding for that Dr. J. So if this video in any way helped you guys out, or if you already knew all this but still enjoyed, go ahead and drop that like. And if you are new to the channel, once again, subscribe. This is the road to 15,000 subscribers. I'm looking to hit it in two to three days. I believe we can do it. Just make sure to keep on sharing my channel, share my videos around, keep showing that support, destroy that like button. If y'all haven't seen my 99 overall Dr. J gameplay, Go ahead and check that out. I'm going to leave that at the end of the video. And y'all know the slogan. Screw the haters. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.